Good morning, No Excuses Scholars. It's Terrific Hero Tuesday, September 14th, 2021. Hey, we always rebound with resilience and courage here at High Grove, and you are proof and evidence of that. And so are your teachers and a lot of the, all the staff here at High Grove. Our college vocabulary word, it's a new one that Miss Michelle introduced yesterday. It is courage, which is bravery and to act bravely when facing difficulty or danger or fear. And synonyms are bravery, bravado, and valor. Hey, it goes along, right along with rebound, right? Showing courage. And I like this little uh, sign here. It says, courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. Hmm, think about that. You need, if you have dreams, you wanna do something, you can't just dream about it, you gotta do something. You have to have the courage to go do it. Think about that one today. All right, as Miss Michelle reminded you, and we remind you every day, you're gonna show respect by wearing your mask indoors. And when you go to the restroom, you're gonna pick up trash. I've been picking up a lot of trash. And I know some of you have been coming up to me and telling me to pick up trash. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That helps so much. But I'm still picking up trash all, every day. And the water bottles. Please bring your water bottles out to the playground so you can fill them up and not, um, not just use a drink fountain. And of course, the restrooms. Please, if you drop something, I know it happens on accident, just pick up the paper, throw it away, okay? That'll show us some respect. And please do not share food, whether it's in the NPR, the cafeteria, or it's out on the playground, which there really shouldn't be any food on the playground or in the classroom or wherever, do not share. It's just, we just can't do that right now, okay? And we are still, we talked about masks and still washing those hands. You know, even count to like 25 seconds. So 20 to 25 seconds, just scrub, scrub, scrub and rinse it off really good, okay? Hey, speaking of terrific Huskies, uh, third grade yesterday was the best in line all the way from where they line up all the way out to the playground. They were pretty quiet and I think fourth grade almost had it. They kind of lost at the end there. Um, but come on, you guys, you can do better. Let's see who's going to be in first place tomorrow or today. How about today? So please, please, please do your best while you're walking down the halls. Okay. Good job. Third grade. Well, we are always looking at our hashtag High Grove influencers. And today we're looking at another teacher, Miss Jennifer Curl. Mrs. Curl, um, she uh, teaches, let's see, first grade. And she has, her motto is, good teachers know that sometimes you have to stop and just be silly for a few minutes. Yeah, right? Don't you agree? Sometimes you just need to get those little silliness out of your system. And it's a good brain break too. So I like that, Mrs. Curl, good thinking. And that's a good modeling for all of us because believe it or not, not just good teachers, good principals and assistant principals. Sometimes we just have to stop and be silly too. So it happens. So thank you, Mrs. Curl. And thanks for being a High Grove hashtag, hashtag High Grove influencer. It is time for the Pledge of Allegiance. So please go ahead and stand if you have time to do it now and put your hand over your heart. And here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. Well, it is time for our joke of the day. And it comes from Mia Montanez, Mrs. Rodriguez's class. And she asked, what do you call a train that's carrying bubble gum? Mmm, I love bubble gum. When I, I, when I was growing up, I was trying, in fact, I could blow bubbles. Can you blow bubbles? Can you blow a big bubble? I want a contest that who could blow the biggest bubble. Yeah, I won. And I could actually used to be able to blow a bubble and then blow another bubble inside that bubble. Ooh, tricky, right? Oh, back to the joke. What do you call a train that's carrying bubble gum? Any ideas? Any guesses? What do you think? Here we go. 
you call it a choo-choo train. Woo-hoo, choo-choo train. All right, thank you guys. Keep sending those jokes. And again, the best way to do it is either email it or write it down on a piece of paper with your name and teacher. And then um, I could, if it's funny and everything's okay, then I'll put it on uh, the morning messages. And as always, scholars, never stop learning because life never stops teaching. All right, have a great day.